Howdy! My name is Sandy. Welcome to my time travel store, where we sell all kinds of goodies from different eras. Hey look, my old friend Grunt is here. Sandy, mm, me sell mammoth milk. Mm, want sell online? Sure, let me help you. Okay, here we go. The best tool for creating the website is HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language. HTML describes all the headings, paragraphs, or images that make up the website. Let's create your first web page with a text editor, or notepad, after you finish hitting that rock with another rock grunt. <laughs> yeah. Now, we're going to create a tag. Hmm, <clears throat> what do? Doc type refers to the type of document. In this case, it basically lets the web browser know that this page is written in HTML. Now, let's type in the HTML tag. The open angle bracket HTML close angle bracket tag tells the browser that this is an HTML document. Most tags have an opening and a closing part. Mm. Mm. Next, we come to the head tag and the body tag. The head tag is the area where the important stuff is processed first, like CSS and JavaScript. The body tags are the ones that contain the website content. We will add some contents here later. Mm. Now, Grunt, we should give this web page a title by using a title tag. Me one call Ooga Booga Mammoth Milk. Sure, so let's type in the title here. Great, now our web page has a title. Let's add in some contents now. Me excited. So let's add a header in between the body tag. H1 simply means header. There are different types of headers. Let's try them out later. Then let's add some text in the header. Let's add fresh mammoth milk. At this point, we should save the file as index.html. This is usually the first page of a website. Preview your file with your web browser. Drag and drop it into the browser area and you should see it pop up. Looking good! Now, what would happen if we change the h1 tag to h2 tag? Hey! Seems like Grunt is very tired, as he time-traveled here from the Stone Age. Let's take a photo of him sleeping. <laughs> well, I think we will continue the lesson next time. Anyway, you should give it a try yourself. See ya!